doing a session for a client. I'm going to go ahead and read the goals here and get started. Okay. I'm open to receiving any messages from spirit. Okay. This is going to be awesome. I want to go visit your spirit guides. I want to go visit your higher self. Okay. Okay. So the message begins with this. There's a lot of density about it, so I can't really talk through it yet. There's a lot of density on the top of the head, almost like a screw that's trying to be screwed in, but it's already screwed in. It's almost like the bolt is stripped somehow. But there's also density in the heart, too. Nothing feels really bad about this. Like it needs to be fixed. I see a man that comes in. And he's very light on his feet. And he makes me think of Peter Pan, but also a like a phenomenal dancer, even a ballet dancer, but very lighthearted, lively, kind of a leprechaun type energy as well. Emanates the color green. <laughs> he shows me also Robin Hood and he has good intentions. <laughs> he shows me Irish dancing. <laughs> He's silly. He can make you laugh. Feel lighthearted and light on your feet. And to sweep you off your feet in dance. In dancing. And he's reaching his hand out. And he would like to dance with you. <laughs> if you would like to dance with him. He, oddly enough, he, so he's getting skinnier and skinnier like a popsicle stick and you're getting larger and larger and heavier and heavier and heavier and it's becoming really hard to move he just keeps dancing in place even though he's getting skinnier and skinnier he's just like and he keeps um tipping his hat to you and smiling and to dancing and dancing and dancing and dancing and he's getting so skinny that it's almost like he's disappearing and the more he's dancing and tipping his hat to you and all this energy that he's expressing, it just makes you feel heavier. I start to see you turning into a wedding cake. And I mean, it's like the weight of the world in the in the making of this cake inside the cake itself in the structure and the shape and every aspect of this cake is like the weight of the world and there's a question here of how to become in balance so we're slowing everything down. So this man isn't dancing anymore. And when he's not dancing, then you don't feel so heavy. But you're having a hard time feeling light on your feet. But he never stops believing in you and he's always positive. So, he wants you to feel comfortable in your own shoes, in your own way of dancing, of moving, of being yourself. Not everybody dances the same. And he will learn how to 
dance to your style of dancing. And this somehow moves your heart and it gives you more confidence in yourself that it is okay to just be yourself. The more comfortable you are in just being yourself, the less responsibility you have in keeping up with somebody else's style that doesn't really fit your own, even if you would want it to fit your own. You have to get really in tune with what is your style. Don't try to mimic anyone else's because it's going to throw you out of balance and even make you feel heavy and not being able to keep up or not being able to do the steps or the moves like they can. This is all a metaphor for why it's important that you learn your own dance and that it's okay to teach others your style and to give them a chance to learn your style and to believe that other people actually want to learn your style. It's interesting because because he is so patient, because he is so open-minded and he's so optimistic and he's so sweet, he is giving you so much room to get to know who you are, to get to know your own dance style. And it takes time. He continues to encourage you to teach him how to dance like you. And it's almost like nobody is said that to you before. Nobody said, I want to know what you're like. It's almost like you try to be flexible with everybody else's dance style, but not expect others to be flexible with your dance style. So how will you ever know what your dance style is until you just start to be you? This is a whole different movement of self-confidence. It's almost like you're going to have to learn it by owning it. This is also going to bring balance to your divine masculine and divine feminine sides. And to remember that there's always people who are lighthearted and merry that want to learn your dance style. The world is not just people that you have to be flexible and learn their dance style all the time. It's almost like there's a, a burden or a weight that you're working on releasing. And to release it, you have to be more grounded in yourself and don't bend for anybody else they need to start bending for you more because it is people acknowledging your style and you feeling acknowledged this time you need more of those experiences So I'm telling your energy field, there is no stripped bolt. The whole concept of being fixed, there's nothing that needs to be fixed here. Like you're not broken. There's nothing broken here. You just got to own up to your own dance style. And your own dance style doesn't need to be fixed either. And it doesn't need to be changed for anybody. That's what they're encouraging you to take a look at, okay? I was thinking this this um, Robin Hood type was a spirit guide, but they're all working together to share a message through this message to give you something to ponder and think about. 
Thank you so much for this experience. It's been a real pleasure to connect with you today. Thank you for sharing. And for those of you watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Have a great day, everyone.